Let's first start with the antenna complex. Over here, I have a good example of what a photosystem looks like. If you recall in our last video, the green molecule over here represents chlorophyll, and these orange molecules over here represent carotenoids. And these are in our chloroplasts, and these are what absorb the electromagnetic radiation from the sun. Now, this series of different molecules of chlorophyll and carotenoids make up the photosystem. But not only does chlorophyll and carotenoid make up these photosystems, we also have proteins that capture and process the excited electrons when the electromagnetic radiation from the sun stimulates them. Now here I'm putting into place an arrow that represents a photon. Photon. And remember that these photons are discrete packets of light that come from the sun as electromagnetic radiation. And we can measure the strength of this energy through the, through the wavelengths. And the wavelengths, again, are the distances between the crests of the wave. Now remember, early on in this video, when a photon strikes the electrons on chlorophyll or the carotenoids, what happens is the electron gets excited. I will represent the electron with the color blue right here. And we'll draw an arrow to show that it went up in energy level. Now when this electron becomes stimulated by the energy of the photon, the energy but not the electron itself is passed on to the next chlorophyll molecule. This is very important. The electron itself does not get energy from the photon and becomes excited and falls down into another chlorophyll molecule. Instead, the energy itself is passed into a nearby chlorophyll molecule. So the energy is passed on, but not the electron. So recall that all these structures, the chlorophyll or the carotenoids, all have electrons within its structure. I will represent the passing of this energy with this yellow streak right here. And this passing of energy, not the electron, is what we call resonance. Let's put that over here resonance. Now let's remember again that this chlorophyll and carotenoid and also these electrons as well as certain special proteins that we will talk about later all make up the antenna complex antenna complex as well as the reaction center. Now what is the reaction center? Now the reaction center if you see in the middle of this antenna complex is this darker green and shaded in chlorophyll. So it is a specialized chlorophyll molecule that acts as an electron acceptor. So let's go back into chemistry and remember Leo, Ger. So when we lose electrons, we have oxidation and when we gain electrons, we have reduction. So when we have a molecule that is gaining electrons, or is an electron acceptor, it has a very good reducing power. Now over here, I just magnified what it looks like at the reaction center. And this reaction center is full of electrons, just like the other chlorophyll molecules. And we'll just show that here by writing electron right here. And of course, there's many, many other electrons. But I'm drawing this electron for the specific purpose of explaining what happens to it. Now remember, all this energy is being passed on from this photon, but the electrons are not passing from molecule to molecule or chlorophyll to chlorophyll. The energy is resonating with all the other chlorophyll molecules. And they'll be moving around, moving energy to each other, such as this, and this will bump here, and maybe some from the carotenoids. If a photon hits a carotenoid, they'll be bumping off, and eventually they will hit the reaction center. So we have the energy which I am depicting as this yellow arrow over here, and it's going to hit an electron on the reaction center. And once the energy that is being passed on from the original photon to the reaction center, these electrons are also going to be excited, but the energy is not going to pass on anymore to other surrounding chlorophyll or carotenoid molecules. The electrons in the reaction center are going to be excited so much that they are going to be transported into an electron acceptor. And at this point, we need to note something extremely important, that when this molecule becomes reduced or when it gains electrons, this mechanism is very, very important, especially in regards to our photosystem. When this molecule becomes reduced or when it gains the electrons, at this very moment, 
electromagnetic energy is transformed into chemical energy. So at this point, again, the transfer of energy is permanent, where our light energy is finally turned into chemical energy. So our electromagnetic radiation from the sun, which was electromagnetic energy, is finally turned into chemical energy. So now that we have a good understanding of how a photosystem works, when the photon with electromagnetic energy hits this chlorophyll molecule or carotenoid molecule, and the energy is passed on to other chlorophyll or carotenoid molecules by resonance. However, remember, the electrons are not moving. They're put into a higher energy state, but the energy of these electrons are being passed on to chlorophyll molecules and carotenoid molecules, but the electron itself stays within the molecule. And eventually, all this resonance within this antenna complex, the an antenna complex, again, does not include the reaction center, but just these carotenoids and chlorophylls. And as these electrons resonate, they will finally hit the reaction center, a specialized chlorophyll molecule. And the moment this energy hits this chlorophyll molecule, or the reaction center, the excited electrons are boosted into this protein called an electron acceptor and this transfer of energy is now permanent. The electromagnetic energy at this point is officially turned into chemical energy, and that is exactly the basis of photosynthesis, turning this electromagnetic energy into chemical energy. Now that we have a good understanding of this, we can go into what photosystems one and photosystems two are, the two photosystems that make photosynthesis possible.